Okay, and here we are. It looks like the rendering is all complete for this entire sequence. I can double check that by going to my images folder. And if I tap the space bar on that first image and then just use my arrow keys to go down through it, this allows me to kind of scan through the sequence and uh, take a look at everything. Now granted, this, this won't be the actual playback that will be featured um, when, we, when we convert this to a video. But just want to make sure that everything's rendered out the way it's supposed to be, that none of my frames glitched out or changed location or anything. All right, so let's go ahead and take these into Photoshop and get everything going. So with Photoshop opened here, or I'll give Photoshop just a second to finish thinking. All right, here we go. Everything is, uh, is loaded up okay. Let's go ahead and click on File and come down to Open. All right, when this Open dialog pops up, make sure you go to where you have that folder saved. I'm going to go to Trawler. It will be in my Images folder. And now before I just start opening stuff, um, I want to talk about exactly what we're going to do. Because we've rendered out all these frames individually, this is what is known as an image sequence. Now Photoshop has the ability to recognize an image sequence and import the individual images as single frames in a broader sequence. To do that, I want to select the very first image, go to Options, all right, it's going to recognize the format by default, and then there's this little options box for image sequence. Go ahead and select that and hit open. All right, now I think the default is 30 frames per second. You can go ahead and select that drop down and choose 24. This is, this is why we rendered the 240 frames to give us 10 seconds of animation. Go ahead and hit OK and it's going to open it up right here. We know that it is imported correctly. If we look over in our layers palette, you can see that there's a video group, and a video layer always has this little film strip icon down in the lower right-hand corner. Now to preview this, you need to go to Window, and come down and turn your timeline on. All right, I usually, when my timeline comes pops up, I'll just come down here and dock it at the bottom of, uh, of the program. I'll go ahead and hit play. All right, and watch through it. All right, and everything looks okay. Now, it only plays through one. So one problem that we have here is that there is no looping with this video. That is so easy to fix here in Photoshop. All you need to do is hit Command J, which is, um, is duplicating your layer. I'll hit that twice so that I have three instances of the ship rotating. All right, and that should be enough for somebody who's looking at your model to be able to assess the form, assess the details, etc. So to export this out as an actual video file, you need to click on File, come down to Export, and select Render Video. That'll bring up your Render Video dialog. Um, it's just going to take a second here. Okay, the first thing is to go ahead and give this a name. Now, I've been calling mine Trawler all the way through, so I'll, I'll go ahead and go with that. I will select the folder where I want to save it. <clears throat> all right, I'm going to go back to my desktop, select my Trawler folder, and you could go ahead and actually save this in your Movies folder. Okay, we'll render with the Adobe Media Encoder at H.264, and you want to make sure that all your other document settings match what we've set this up for. So, you, you know, in this case, this is a 1K square image, so 1024 by 1024. If you did the 16 by 9 aspect ratio, it's probably going to be 1920 by 1080 at 24 frames per second. You want to make sure that you render um, the entire work area or all frames and go ahead and click the render button and you should be good to go. This will end up exporting this out as a um, H.264 codec um, QuickTime file which you can then take and upload to YouTube. <clears throat> okay, this is finished rendering. Let's go ahead and hop over to Finder. There it'll be in your Movies folder. 
I'm going to go ahead and tap the space bar on that to, to visualize it. Okay, and everything looks good.